praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Welcome you on this platform, everyone. If you're joining for the very first time, I'm happy to receive you here. Thank you so much. If you see my face for the first time also, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, the man God uses. Welcome. If you're family, you always come back, watch these videos. Thank you. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So family, there is this very important word I received. Um, the Lord says, this counterfeit planted. And, and I heard, I heard, narrow escape. Narrow escape. Narrow escape. It was a plan by counterfeit. And it's just a narrow escape. A while back, I, I did post a video where I said um, that every time God speaks to you, or every time God promises you, what happens is, as, as you declare, you say out that promise out loud in excitement, uh, in joy, Satan hears it and tries to corrupt it. few things you need to understand before I even get into what the Lord is saying. Number one is that Satan is not all-knowing. No angel knows um, what you are thinking, what you are saying. And you know that even when Satan was still in heaven, he was an angel. He is still an angel. Right? Just an angel of darkness. So in their nature as angels, they do not know what is in your heart, it's your ma in your mind. As you begin to share physically, then you can probably talk to an agent somebody who is possessed of the spirit of darkness and who works for the kingdom of darkness as um, an agent to gather information that's the only way they get to know anything so if satan knows anything about you or anything at all it is what he was told so if that is clear when you receive a prophetic word or whatever you receive as a matter of fact he doesn't even know what your prophetic word is until you say it out until you say it out do you understand? When Satan came to the garden, he did not. He was not even certain of what God had said to the woman. I can read that for you in the scriptures just to clarify you before I go ahead to tell you what um, God is saying. Right? In, in um, Genesis, in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible tells us, in Genesis chapter 3, from verse 1, the Bible says that now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And she said unto the woman, Had God said, You shall not eat of every tree in the garden? He did not know. He was asking for confirmation. He did not know. He did not know. He did not know. He was not aware of what the word is. He was guessing. That's it right there. He says, had God said you should not eat of every tree of the garden. Now listen up. In verse 2, the Bible says, And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. You see? You see? The, the lady could not even, um, the serpent could not even decipher it when the lady said a lie because the, the God did not say, Don't touch it. The Lord says, Don't eat it. So he only knows what you say. He doesn't, he doesn't know what you're thinking. If whatever I'm thinking right now, he doesn't know it. You know, he doesn't know what you're thinking right now. So, how does he even send a counterfeit? Is when you begin to declare what the Lord has said over you for a period of time. Oh, God has told me that my kingdom husband is coming. God has told me that my money is coming. God has told me that. As you keep telling that to people, even when you speak to yourself, he doesn't hear you because, I mean, Satan doesn't sit around your environment waiting for you, right? The more you begin to tell people, more people, more people, more people, then he finds a way into his ears. He hears it and tries to corrupt it. You see how that works? So every time he gets that information, he then goes and finds a way in to corrupt it now this is the introduction of counterfeit for him to be able to manipulate you he will send something that is similar to what um, 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 
God is talking about. Have you ever thought about the definition of what a counterfeit is? What is a counterfeit? A counterfeit is not the fake. Sometimes a counterfeit can be real money. Let's talk about money. You know, counterfeit money can be real money printed by the real companies but printed illegally. Do you understand? Every money, please listen to this. This is very important. Every money has a digital signature. Every money has a digital identity. So the same company that is printing, if they tell them to print maybe a million and then they print a million one hundred, the one hundred on top of that million is counterfeit. So don't say, oh, a counterfeit should be a demon, a bad person or this. A counterfeit can be a good person that was sent into your life at the wrong time. It becomes a counterfeit. A counterfeit can be something that, I mean, you look at it and you say, oh, this is nice. But it was sent into your life at a point where it's not the God point. It was not the God point. And guess what happens now? It becomes a corrupted gift. So the Lord is saying the counterfeit planned it, but you had a narrow escape. So there is a prophetic word that is over your life, over your ministry, over your family, over your business career. And you know, when Satan found out about it, he he placed a counterfeit on your path. Something that looked like what God was saying, but was not it. You see, God cannot, I repeat, God cannot. Let me say that even again for emphasis. God cannot give you a narcissist as a husband, as a wife. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from God. Can I read that for you? Every good and perfect gift. Every good and perfect gift. If it is not good, if it is not perfect, it's not from God. All right? If the gift is not good, the gift is not perfect, it is not from God. You can see that in James chapter 1 and verse 17. James chapter 1 and verse 17. It says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, no shadow of turning. When God gives it to you, there is no there is no variableness in the gift of God. Say, oh, he came like this and now he's this. Uh-uh, that's not God, honey. That is not God. It's a counterfeit. It's a counterfeit. It's a counterfeit. And the Lord is saying that there are so many issues that you are faced within this prophetic journey. And this prophetic journey it could be a marriage journey. It could be a finance journey. It could be any journey you find yourself in. And as you are receiving this prophetic word, you know exactly what I'm saying. And it is the counterfeit that has planned all of this. The Lord is saying you will be delivered. You're going to be delivered from every de demonic manipulation. Anyone that was sent to your life by manipulation, anyone that was sent to your destiny by manipulation, the Lord is delivering you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that you are blessed. Now God bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine on you, be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Family, do not forget. To subscribe on the channel if you have not ring the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up do you receive the word with gladness i love you dearly and share to someone that might be in need of such a, a dire fresh and urgent prophetic word the lord bless you real good the lord bless you in jesus name shalom